Hey and welcome to our fifth chapter where I'm going to show you the retrospectives board. So as we know, after every sprint, we get together with our team um, and do a retrospectives meeting to see how we can uh, work better for the next sprint. Um, and of course, we can leverage money.com for that as well. So here we have our retrospectives board. Um, here, every group on this uh, board has a sprint and every item is a feedback point. Um, you can add different feedbacks even during the sprint, okay? Um, so as preparation for the meeting, we can add a new group of a new sprint and then add different feedback points here as items. Um, we have the submitter indication of who submitted the sprint. Um, we have the type, whether it's a keep, improve. Of course, you can edit and update the type according to your uh, according to your um, terminology and we have whether it's a repeating issue or not then we have a voting column um, and this is a really great way to uh, see what are the feedbacks that we would like to talk about so what we recommend uh, what you can do is as preparation for your retrospectives meeting you can ask your teammates to add different feedback um, to the relevant group or even take like the first 10 minutes or 15 minutes um, to have everybody add some points and then during the meeting have a 10 minute voting time where everybody can go into the board and vote on their feedback points that they agree on and then uh, during that meeting we can uh, sort by the vote column to see the most voted on feedback points and then talk about them and assign them an owner you can even use the sub items um, and uh, this is a, a great functionality uh, where we can create additional level of hierarchy within Monday where we can use sub items to have action items on each of the feedback points and you can see that it's kind of like a table within a table or a board within a board um, and it's an additional level of details and information that you can use so you can have different action items status uh, and have you know specific due dates where you can actually make sure to action on your feedback um, so you can really leverage the sub items functionality for that so this is our retrospectives board and on the next chapter i will show you the bugs queue